Uh, my name is Jared. I was born in Queensland. My name is Kristen Slingo and I was born in Kitchener, Ontario, Canada. Would I rather cook or order in? Uh... Would I rather cook or order in? Most days of the week I would definitely prefer to cook. Probably order in or Loz's cooking. Um, sometimes when I don't want to do the dishes, ordering in's fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. <laughs> favourite board game is probably the game of life, or Uno is pretty good too. Favourite board game? It's definitely not Monopoly. Uh, probably Star Wars Trivial Pursuit, but I never get to play it. I was a ruler of my own country. The first law I would introduce is three day weekend every week I think. First law I would introduce if I ruled a country would probably be free movies. Have I ever had a nickname? Yes. Do I want to share those nicknames? It's the next one. Jez. I was called Princess for a really long time when I was dating my husband. Thankfully that one is no longer in use. <laughs> Jezza. <laughs> it was kind of facetious though. I'm usually called my name but incorrectly. What does the princess want? That was sort of the... <laughs> Jez. Is there anything I wish would come back into fashion? Probably not. There's a lot of really bad fashion in history. Anything I wish would come back into fashion? Probably not. Not, not that in tune with fashion. <laughs> Do I hit the snooze button or wake up immediately? I usually wake up immediately. Yeah, I hit the snooze button probably four or five times. <laughs> Would I rather ride a bike, a horse, or drive a car? I like, I don't mind horses, but definitely a car is more efficient, I think. Would I rather ride a bike, horse, or car? Uh, probably car, it's a lot funner. Am I a clean or a messy person? Clean or messy? That depends who you ask. Definitely a clean person. Depends who you ask. My wife? Mm, probably not that clean. My kids, they would tell you that and that they hate it. <laughs> I would say clean, but yeah. <laughs> Do I like or dislike surprises? I usually like surprises. I like surprises. I dislike surprises. Uh, depends on the surprise, really. It's a good surprise, yeah, sure. Do I collect anything? No, I do not. I used to when I was a child. I had um, porcelain dolls and music boxes, which I've passed on to my kids a little bit, but don't collect anything anymore. Do I collect anything? Not really, no. What was my first job? I was what they called the coat check chick at a nightclub. My first job was at KFC. So in Canada it's cold, so people would check their coats when they'd enter like a restaurant or nightclub and I collected the coats. He actually made some tips, which was all right too. <laughs> I came to know Christ um, as a child, so I grew up in a Christian family, um, really blessed actually with good role models. My parents um, taught us really good values. We um, were involved in our church community, so that was um, a lovely upbringing. I came to know Christ uh, in my teenage years. I suppose I rebelled a little bit in my teenage and early uni days and kind of drifted away from the church a little bit. I always grew up in church um, knowing that God is real. Probably the turning point for me was I went to Edinburgh University to do my teaching degree. Uh, met another Canadian girl who was also Christian and we made a connection, talked a lot about our faith, made a con conscious decision together to find a church in Edinburgh and started going there. And I think that was the point where I thought, well, this isn't because my parents are asking me to go. This is actually me um, making a choice for God. And being around Christians, which has always been beneficial in my life. 11 years ago, moved to Bendigo, um, sought out a church. Initially, we were at the um, Uniting Church. And when I came to work at Victory, we went to what was um, then as, known as History Makers. I went to a conference, just like our youth does, 
and um, really got the feeling that God wanted more. I had always grown up in a United Church, in, it's called the United Church of Canada. Um, so very traditional. And so going to History Makers for the first time was um, eye-opening, you know, hands up and praise and worship that I hadn't experienced before. So it was um, probably my first encounter where I really felt moved in the spirit as I'd never felt before. He wanted me to give my life to him. Um, and after the first couple times of going there, I actually had what I'd experienced as an encounter with God where I just found myself weeping and didn't know why I was crying. I thought, wow, this is um, an experience I hadn't had before. And um, that's kind of where it started. I gave my life to him and it just goes from there, really. Yeah. For me, that turning point of really having a different relationship and um, having a different experience in my connection with God um, has kind of brought me to where I am now and now teaching at Victory, um, just continue to grow in my relationship with Jesus, which is great. The difference that Jesus has made in my life, um, I guess I have feel that Jesus is everything in my life. I um, feel compelled to speak to Jesus on a regular basis. The difference Jesus made in my life um, is pretty significant. I feel like you constantly have that person that's there, that confidant, um, a miracle maker in your life. You hear so many stories of people and their encounters with God and I just feel um, moved by him every day I think. Mainly just because he's, he's the one that I can fall back on for everything. The other factor is being able to teach my own children about God and grow their relationship with him. I think that's um, such a, bless, a blessing that I have in my life. No matter what I'm doing, what situation's happening, um, he's always there. He's always had a plan for me, always looking after me, always wanting the best for me, wanting me to prosper. Um, as well as teaching at a school that is a Christian environment where I can um, teach my students about Jesus and the love that Jesus has for them. I can be safe in knowing that he's got my back. He's always been there. And when trouble comes, when I get in tough situations, things happen in life as they do, like COVID, I know that he's always going to be faithful to me and look after me. Blessed every day.